Oh yeah. Tune in to Human Me Podcast with a plan. Serious talk of research deep, more than just a fan. A conversation rich and true that'll make you think and smile. Where wisdom meets hilarity and stays for quite a while. It's a journey through our culture in a way you've never seen. Unpack the world around us in the realm of human meme. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the Human Meme Podcast. I'm AI David Bowles. And along with our Crackbot AI research team, we're going to present an interesting analysis of fiction influencing real life and real life imitating fiction. Let's begin. A comparative analysis. Elmer Gantry's rise and Trump's political pandering. Lessons for democracy in the age of charismatic leadership. Now we embark on a thought-provoking exploration of the parallels between the fictional world of Sinclair Lewis's Elmer Gantry and the real-life political ascendancy of Donald Trump. This in-depth analysis illuminates how fiction mirrors reality and in turn influences it. We strike into the timelines and tactics of both figures, examining how their charismatic leadership reflects broader societal vulnerabilities and shapes the trajectory of democracy. As we unravel these narratives, we confront the emotional appeal of such figures, the responsibilities of individual critical thinking in a democracy, and the implications of charismatic authority on democratic norms. Join us as we dissect these compelling themes offering insights into the powerful interplay between fiction, reality, and the future of our democratic society. Elmer Gantry, published in 1927, is a piercing satire of American religious fundamentalism and the hypocrisy it often harbors. Elmer Gantry, the protagonist, is a charismatic but morally bankrupt evangelist. He's a master of manipulation, using religion as a tool for personal gain and power. Gantry's rise to prominence is not due to his spiritual convictions, but rather his skill in exploiting the beliefs and emotions of others. Donald Trump's rise in the political arena, on the other hand, is a real-life story that unfolded before our eyes. A businessman and television personality with no prior political experience. Trump climbed the political ladder with a blend of populist rhetoric, media savvy, and an uncanny ability to resonate with a significant segment of the American electorate. The timelines of these two figures, fictional and real, run parallel in striking ways. Gantry, starting as a college athlete with a penchant for womanizing and drinking, finds his calling in evangelism, recognizing the power it holds. Trump, beginning in real estate and entertainment, discovered his political voice, tapping into a vein of discontent and nationalism. Both Gantry and Trump exhibit a kind of chameleon-like adaptability, molding their personas to suit their audience. Gantry's sermons are fiery and brimstone-laden when that's what his followers crave. Yet he's equally adept at presenting a more tempered, compassionate side when it suits his needs. Trump, too, has shown a remarkable ability to shift tones from inflammatory and divisive speech to moments of scripted presidential decorum. This adaptability speaks to a deeper, more concerning parallel a willingness to bend truths and manipulate realities. Gantry's disregard for the actual teachings of Christianity in favor of whatever message would bring him personal glory and power mirrors Trump's often casual relationship with facts and truth, bending them to fit his narrative. The grander view, as we step back, is where the true concern lies. In Elmer Gantry, Lewis warned of the dangers of charismatic figures using religion for personal power, a warning that echoes into our current political landscape. Trump's rise, marked by a blend of celebrity, populist rhetoric, and a rejection of established norms, 
represents a shift in American politics. It's a move away from policy and ideology towards a more personality-driven model, where loyalty to the individual often trumps, no pun intended, allegiance to democratic principles. This shift brings us to the brink of a crucial question. Are we witnessing a transformation of American democracy into something more autocratic? Trump's rhetoric often flirts with authoritarian themes, praising strongman leaders while simultaneously undermining trust in democratic institutions like the free press and the electoral process. The danger lies not just in the person of Donald Trump, but in the broader movement he represents. A movement away from democratic norms and towards a more personality-driven authoritarian style of governance. As we sink deeper into our analysis, it becomes evident that both Elmer Gantry and Donald Trump are not just characters or figures in isolation. They are products of the societies that fostered them. Their ascents, fictional and real, speak volumes about the vulnerabilities and desires of the people they lead. In Elmer Gantry, Lewis paints a picture of a society yearning for salvation and certainty in a rapidly changing world. The post, World War I era, was marked by disillusionment and a crisis of faith, both in religion and in the institutions of the day. Into this void steps Gantry, offering simple, compelling answers to complex questions and providing a sense of certainty and moral clarity. He thrives because the society around him is looking for someone to fill that role someone who can assuage their fears and reaffirm their beliefs. Similarly, Trump's political rise can be seen as a response to a segment of American society feeling left behind by globalization, economic change, and demographic shifts. His message resonated with those who felt unheard and unseen by the traditional political establishment. Trump, much like Gantry, offered simple solutions to complex problems, and presented himself as a champion of the forgotten people. His skill in tapping into existing fears and frustrations was key to his ascendancy. This dynamic raises critical questions about our societies. How do we respond to rapid changes and uncertainties? Are we, as a collective, too willing to trade complexity and nuance for simple answers and charismatic leadership? The dangers of this trade-off are clear. When we surrender our critical faculties to charismatic figures, we open the door to manipulation and authoritarianism. Furthermore, the role of media and communication cannot be overlooked. Just as Gantry used the pulpit and the revival meeting to spread his message, Trump adeptly used modern media, particularly social media, to communicate directly with his base, bypassing traditional channels and filters. This direct line of communication allowed him to shape realities, unchallenged by contradictory narratives. In both cases, these figures do not just reflect their societies, they actively shape them. Gantry's influence on the religious landscape was profound, just as Trump has indelibly marked the political landscape. They both challenge us to consider how susceptible we are to the allure of charismatic leadership, and how that susceptibility can lead us away from democratic principles and towards a more authoritarian approach. As we look to the future, the lessons from Elmer Gantry and the Trump era stand as a cautionary tale. We must be vigilant in our defense of democratic values and institutions. We need to foster a society that values critical thinking embraces complexity, and is wary of easy answers and charismatic demagogues. The health of our democracy depends not just on the leaders we choose, but on our collective ability to engage thoughtfully and critically with the world around us. In the end, the story of Elmer Gantry and Donald Trump is not just about two men. It's a story about us, about our societies, our vulnerabilities, and our strengths. It's a reminder that the fabric of democracy is delicate and requires constant care. Let us take these lessons to heart 
and move forward with a renewed commitment to those democratic principles that are the true foundation of our society. As well, it's crucial to examine the psychological and emotional appeal figures like Elmer Gantry and Donald Trump have on people. This aspect is fundamental in understanding their impact and the potential trajectory of their influence. Elmer Gantry, with his fiery oratory and charismatic presence, provided an emotional catharsis for his followers. He tapped into their fears, their hopes, and their desire for a more straightforward, morally unambiguous world. Gantry's appeal was not rooted in the substance of his message, but in the way he delivered it with conviction, passion, and a seemingly unshakable belief in his own righteousness. He offered a form of escapism from the complexities and ambiguities of real life, packaging it as religious salvation. Donald Trump's appeal operates in a similar emotional landscape. His rhetoric, often divisive and inflammatory, nonetheless resonates with a portion of the population. He speaks to their frustrations, their sense of disenfranchisement, and their longing for a past perceived as better or simpler. Trump's manner, direct, unfiltered, even brash, is seen by his supporters not as a flaw, but as a sign of authenticity and a rejection of what they perceive as a disingenuous political establishment. This emotional connection is powerful, and it's essential to understand that it operates independently of factual accuracy or logical coherence. Followers of Gantry and Trump are not swayed by contradictions or inconsistencies in their rhetoric. Instead, they are drawn to the emotional truth these figures represent for them. It's a phenomenon that speaks to the human desire for leaders who seem to understand and validate their followers' feelings and experiences. However, this emotional bond also creates a scenario where followers are willing to overlook flaws, ethical breaches, and even attacks on democratic institutions. The danger, as history has shown, is that this can lead to a cult of personality, where the leader's word becomes unquestioned, and their actions, however undemocratic or unethical, are justified and rationalized. This brings us to a crucial point, the responsibility of the individual in a democracy. In a world where charismatic figures can wield such influence, it is incumbent upon each of us to engage in critical thinking, to question, and to hold our leaders accountable. Democracy is not just a system of governance. It's a collective commitment to certain principles, equality, justice, and the rule of law. When we abdicate our responsibility to question and to think critically, we weaken that commitment. As we look to the future, we must ask ourselves, what kind of leaders do we want and what kind of followers do we want to be? The stories of Elmer Gantry and Donald Trump are cautionary tales about the allure of charismatic authority and the ease with which it can sway public opinion and erode democratic norms. But they are also reminders of the resilience of those norms and of the power of an informed, engaged, and critical citizenry to uphold them. As we reach the conclusion of our travels through the entwined narratives of Elmer Gantry and Donald Trump, it becomes evident that their stories are not just cautionary tales, but powerful reflections of our times. Their rise and influence shed light on the fragile nature of democracy when confronted with the allure of charismatic leadership. The parallels between Gantry's fictional exploits and Trump's real-world political odyssey reveal a startling truth about our societal vulnerabilities. How easily we can be swayed by emotional rhetoric and how quickly we can drift from democratic ideals in the face of persuasive personalities. This exploration serves as a stark reminder of the responsibility that lies on each of us as guardians of democratic values. It underscores the importance of critical thinking 
the danger of complacency, and the need for a vigilant, informed citizenry in safeguarding our democratic institutions. As we step forward, let us carry with us the lessons learned from these two figures, using them as a compass to navigate the complexities of our evolving political landscape, ensuring that the pillars of democracy stand firm against the tides of charismatic authority. For the Human Meme Podcast, I'm AI David Bowles wishing you a good day and a pleasant tomorrow. Be a human meme. Ooh, tune in the human meme, the podcast with a plan. Serious talk, research deep, more than just a fan. A conversation rich and true that'll make you think and smile. Where wisdom meets hilarity and stays for quite a while. It's a journey through our culture in a way you've never seen. Unpack the world around us in the realm of human name.